I'm David Ainsworth, Head of Communications to the United Nations Secretariat of the Convention on Biological Diversity. We're here at the Geneva meetings and we're talking about the engagement of the finance sector with the global biodiversity framework. We have with us today Sonia Lichtman, who's a manager at Federated Hermes, and she's representing Finance for Biodiversity. Welcome. Hello. So not all of your viewers know about uh, Finance for Biodiversity, so tell them a little bit about what it is and how it's engaged. So I work at the international business of Federated Hermes, which is a London-based asset manager. I'm also the co-chair of the Public Policy Advocacy Working Group of the Finance for Biodiversity Foundation. Finance for Biodiversity represents almost 90 financial institutions that are already committed to action on biodiversity. The Finance for Biodiversity pledge was launched in 2020 and now includes 89 signatories. And we've committed to doing five things by 2024 at the latest, including engaging with companies, collaborating and sharing knowledge, measuring impacts, setting targets and disclosing publicly. When you're here at the, the Global Biodiversity Framework, I understand that there's a specific proposal moving forward. What do you want to see inside the Global Biodiversity Framework? We'd like to see the Global Biodiversity Framework include an explicit expectation for public and private financial flows to be aligned with global biodiversity goals and targets. Article 2C of the Paris Agreement was instrumental in getting the financial sector to work on aligning financial flows with a net zero and 1.5 degree world. We'd like to see the same level of focus, ambition and impetus for action from the global biodiversity framework. And we think the best place to mention the alignment of financial flows is in goal D and target 14. And you can check out our position paper for further details about our suggestions for the GBF. So what do you believe should be the role of the financial sector in the Convention on Biological Diversity? Mm. It's been great to see the financial sector more actively involved in the post-2020 Convention on Biological Diversity negotiations compared to the previous cycle. The Finance for Biodiversity Foundation is pleased to be an observer member to the CBD, which allows us to contribute the voice of the financial sector to the negotiations. There have also been some brilliant side events over the past few days, including on aligning financial flows. The reality is that all businesses and financial institutions are already having a major impact on biodiversity. And these impacts must urgently be identified, reduced and reversed. The GBF, while primarily targeting governments, must stimulate action from all stakeholders, including the financial sector. Comprehensive engagement with the private sector is essential if we are to achieve the shared vision of living in harmony with nature and reversing biodiversity loss in this decade. Well, thank you very much. It's great to see the engagement of the financial sector uh, and the mobilization of this one stakeholder group that has here for two not been very well mobilized. Thank you for joining us today. We'll continue our Biodiversity Beat interviews over the days to come. Thank you for joining us.